UFO hunting Harvard scientists say debris from an unidentified object that crashed into the Pacific Ocean in 2014 appears artificial in origin, and they could be remnants of an interstellar spacecraft. Today, we delve into this captivating discovery as we explore the findings of a Harvard team and their extraordinary search for extraterrestrial life. In a groundbreaking underwater search mission off the coast of Papua New Guinea, a Harvard duo embarked on a $1.5 million expedition to uncover the truth behind an unidentified object known as IM-1. Led by Professor Avi Loeb, former chair of Harvard's astronomy department, the team made an astonishing discovery. 50 unusual iron spheres recovered from the Pacific Ocean floor. These tiny metal fragments, found as part of the mission, have raised intriguing questions. Could they be of extraterrestrial origin? The team believes so. New lab analysis of the metal spheres reveals that they are anomalous and stronger than any observed meteor produced by nature. Professor Loeb, a renowned figure in the field and dubbed the alien hunter of Harvard, emphasizes that the composition of these spheres is highly unusual compared to human-made alloys, known asteroids, or familiar astrophysical sources. The story takes an even more astonishing turn. NASA confirms that IM-1 almost certainly originated from outer space, making it Earth's first known interstellar visitor. However, it was Professor Loeb and Harvard researcher Amir Siraj who detected the object in a retrospective analysis. The Harvard pair argues that their new results support the likelihood of IM-1 being artificial in origin. They refuse to rule out the possibility that it could be part of an interstellar spacecraft made by aliens. To unravel the mysteries surrounding IM-1, the Harvard team conducted a battery of tests on the recovered metal fragments. The results were nothing short of remarkable. IM-1 withstood over four times the deep sea pressure that crushed the Ocean Gate sub near the Titanic. The iron spheres displayed a chemical makeup that is almost entirely iron, a stark contrast to standard iron-nickel meteorites that contain much higher concentrations of nickel. These findings suggest a highly unusual origin for IM-1. But how did the Harvard team track down IM-1 in the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean? It was no small feat. Siraj, using US Department of Defense satellite data and local seismometers, meticulously narrowed down the object's final trajectory. With precise calculations, they identified an impact zone near Manus Island off the coast of Papua New Guinea. The team utilized a large magnetic sled to scrape the ocean floor, recovering the majority of the iron spheres along the expected meteor path. While some skeptics have questioned IM-1's interstellar nature and its composition, recent analysis at the University of California Berkeley has provided compelling evidence. The dominant constituent of the IM-1 sphere's chemical makeup is iron. As confirmed through thorough analysis, this finding contradicts previous arguments against an iron object and strengthens the Harvard team's theories about its artificial origin. The Galileo project, led by Professor Loeb, is dedicated to identifying outer space materials that could serve as physical evidence of alien civilizations. IM-1's discovery has sparked hope for uncovering further evidence. In fact, another object known as IM-2 with an interstellar trajectory has been identified. Professor Loeb speculates that these objects could be artificially made interstellar spacecraft, potentially launched billions of years ago. Excitement is building as the second hunt for physical evidence from an interstellar object is planned. IM-2, significantly larger than IM-1, offers a higher chance of recovering larger fragments due to its slower speed upon impact. The Galileo project aims to dredge up samples from IM-2 within the next couple of years, providing us with a deeper understanding of our place in the universe. As we venture into uncharted territories and explore the possibilities of extraterrestrial life, the work of Professor Loeb, Siraj and the entire Galileo project team reminds us of the importance of pushing the boundaries of science. It's through this pursuit of knowledge that we may uncover extraordinary truths and redefine our understanding of the cosmos. Join us on this thrilling journey of discovery as we unravel the mysteries of the universe and strive to answer one of humanity's most profound questions. Are we alone?